Thank you. Yes, we're live. Hey, everybody, it's Lori Forrester, the wine coach, and we're here on Facebook Live. It's five o'clock somewhere. Well, it's five o'clock in Maryland. Is it five o'clock in Rhode Island, Pilar? Well, um, I'm going to tell you what time it is in Connecticut. <laughs> Connecticut is <laughs> the same as Rhode Island. Ah, see, <laughs> the things that happen on live TV. <laughs> Sorry, I think I had Rhode Island on the brain because I knew you were in the path of the hurricane and I got, True. you know, I got caught up in that. So uh, I am here, Lori Forster, the wine coach with Pilar Steinborn, um, celebrity stylist um, to the who's who and even regular people like me. And I'm so thrilled, Pilar, to have you join me for this live. And now, to be clear, people, this is happy hour, okay? So I brought to the table a rosé. Because I'm just still obsessed with rosé. I'm not going to give it up, people. It's not overdone yet. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about this Italian rosé that I'm sipping. But Pilar, tell us what you're sipping. Okay. Let me get my glasses on. Ooh. Make sure it's faced the right way. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. I so she has giving. a decoy seltzer that's made with Sauvignon Blanc and lime. So it's a wine seltzer, you know, not in like the mic. Or then the hard uh, white claws and the trulies or whatever else people have, but a little more wine focused um, from the decoy brand. And I love that you brought that to the table because speaking of fashion, canned wine is really in fashion these days. Yes, it so is. it really is. <laughs> I think so I've spoken you. to you about that in the past too. I've been all summer, or at least for the last several months, especially during COVID, was trying new things, right? So I'm always open in game to grabbing a four pack, a six pack, and that this was the latest one in the wine shop. So uh, right. I wanted to break out because there are places we can't go with glass. So I was trying to be very you know, sustainably friendly to the beach, the docks, the boat yards, everywhere that we've been kind of progressing throughout the summer. And uh, this one seems to meet all expectations. I have to say it's fresh, it's crispy, it's um, cold, which yes. I really need. A lot of humidity out there. And um, it works great in the coolers. I can get a lot of them in. And it yes, takes a really lot. short amount of time to chill it. So yes. it's a win-win. It is a win-win. And now um, you're in Rowayton, Connecticut. So I do know where you are. And you are a smart lady because you also have a great friend that has a wine store. So in addition to having me as one of your uh, resources, you also have uh, you know someone right there in your town, which to me is one of the great ways to find new wines and learn things is to find that store that you anchor with. And just keep, like you're doing, just keep going in there and see what's new, see what they have because that's how you learn what you like and maybe what you don't like. Absolutely, and you've been key to her as well because being out of state, I've asked, asked her for a number of items to pull in um, that have now become fan favorites. I knew they pulled in some for me, but then they had offered the extra of the case or something to someone else and they have now continued to carry it. And Yay. she joined us that time with you. Yes. I loved when we were doing our Wednesday wind downs. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. And thank you for that. Every yes. Wednesday, once a month, I do a wind down Wednesday, a virtual wine tasting. Yep. Um, you purchase the ticket to the class. I send you out a list of wines to purchase locally or online. And then it's like our once once a month party. I mean, during main lockdown, we did it once a week, but you know, now we have to get back to real life. Um, so anybody that wants to join me, you can just go to thewinecoach.com, click on events. All the wind down Wednesdays are out there, September through November. We've got some great stuff coming up. Um, all right, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about how we met and a great event we're doing in October. Jeff Brandis, my friend, says cheers to both of us. He's watching along with some other people. And uh, Samantha Jones just said great idea about the Wine Down Wednesday. So Sam, join us. It's really, really fun. <laughs> you can Get be back anywhere. into town. Yeah, cheers to that. Okay, real quick, I'll tell you what I'm drinking and then I want to tell you a little bit more about Pilar and what she does and how we met. So I'm drinking the Pico Macario. It's uh, the Lavignone Rosato. That's the Italian word for rosé. And it's a rosé made entirely from Barbera grapes in the Piedmont region of Italy, all the way in the Northwest. One of my favorite regions that I've been to three times, um, once on my honeymoon and twice to take people over there on tours. 
So I love red Barberas, and I think I've even had you try some um, in your uh, in your wine evolution there and trying new things. But they make this delicious uh, strawberry melon crisp rosé from the same Barbera grape they make the reds from, and it's just really mm. delicious. It's one of my go-tos. I get it from my local hair, hair of the dog, which I know you'll appreciate for our wine store. Uh, <laughs> it's got a good name there, um, but you can find it other places. And Susan uh, is saying cheers to us ladies as well. So whatever you guys are sipping, put it in the chat window so we know what you guys are drinking right now. I told everybody to get done with work early so they could sip with us. So hopefully they're doing that. So let us know what you're drinking. Okay, so Pilar and I met through a coach I had uh, that I was working with, with my online TV presence and, you know, say, Hey, you know, if you want to work with a style person, Pilar is the best. Um, and she can really help you polish everything up and take it to the next upgrade level, I guess I would say. Um, and I have learned so much in working with you, Pilar, just about how things can look one way when you're live and in person, but when you're on camera, it can look so totally different. And so you kind of have to adjust different things like your hair color and your outfits and, and the things that you wear for the way you're gonna look on camera, which let's face it, we're all doing with Zoom and everything else these days. We all need you, we all need you. Um, and then um, I'll let you tell a little story how you, how you created your business, but we really became a lot closer over COVID just in connecting on a personal level. And I'm so blessed for that. That's it was such a godsend for me. me um, and so I have a great event coming in, up in October called You Uncorked. And it's for ladies to really focus on what you want out of your life in the next year. We're going to give some things we've learned, some strategies, some tips, um, inspiration. But really, it's creating this community for you to come together with us connect with us, with other women who also want to make changes and move forward. And then at the end of the day, after we have our, our two speaking presents, we're actually going to have a VIP wine tasting, of course. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. I'll put the link to the event. Uh, it's a virtual event in the chat window. But Pilar, I know this is a dream of so many people that love fashion, that love TV and movies and radio, just to be able to work with celebrities and make them even better. How the heck did you create your business doing this? Mm. Well, I got. Let's give us the short, short version, <laughs> if you want. Version, a small version is um, honestly just trying to capture what you love and learning how to make money at it. Um, mm. I knew I was really. Uh, had an eye for things um, in the market, meaning the stores, and and what was a key item and what really was a disposable item. Um, and then I think it kind of happened naturally where I got a position at a magazine and the position was to source things. And with that said, it was started off in a design um interior department and then that's where i was focused on and then i went into fashion and everything fell into place thereafter but it was great because i was boots on the ground and i would literally get to go out into the stores snap polaroids when polaroids were really popular come back and give them to the team and the table of like what was available in the market what was trending right now what are we seeing coming out um, you would have access to the showroom. So they would always be six months to a year in advance. So you were really getting, you know, that inside edition of, okay, this is what's going to be. And then I would watch to see what sells. I could see all of the things uh, staying on the sale rack. So I can tell you, just because it's on sale, doesn't should have it. <laughs> um, definitely a lesson to be learned. You have to go in with critical eyes. And I think that's what was the gift was for me is knowing that I could define and detail something, whether it be for a corporate or for an individual. The individual thing came later and was crafted throughout my, if you will, tenure at the magazines and then in television. And then came, you know, the private clientele and working with artists and people of interest that are on camera. So um, that's, you know, in different phases, my career evolves, but identifying at the beginning what is it that I'm good at? Did I know that question back then? No. Mm -hmm. But if I look back and I'm like, oh, okay, I applied my 
my taste level to how can I, you know, get paid and actually live, you know, doing what I really enjoy. I so, love that. And uh, that's I really like, cool thing. Need you to drop this because as a, you know, kid of the eighties, um, you worked at a network that we, that was like, yeah. You know, style of our generation so tell them that one because that's fun mtv as everyone has, <laughs> it's now 40 years old in the in the industry which is pretty mind-blowing um yeah. i was lucky enough to have gotten my dream job when i was 23 years old and so um yes i know it's just a couple years ago but um i was literally living um everyone's dream at mtv networks and I was there for the MTV house parties. We were traveling across America. We were on the Rock Across America tours. Um, I was getting to meet uh, artists and celebrities and people who were just up and rising stars, like from Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish. He would come yeah. through our door, very modest, uh, very polite gentleman. Next thing you know, our town agent who works in house with us is you know, grooming them and taking them to where they need to be from place to place within the um, studio. They were doing a performance for us. Well, what do they do? They hit it off. Um, they get married. She leaves MTV and she's still married to him and has three kids later. Oh, that's um, awesome. This was one of my friends, you know, at MTV. That's so great. This, what could happen to you if you work at MTV? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love what you said earlier, because I'm going to talk a little bit this about this that you uncorked October 16th is a day it's a half day virtual conference with the wine tasting at the end but your unique ability because each of us has a unique ability that really the goal should be to be using that the most we can I mean yeah can we all do you know um you know admin tasks can we all do accounting can we all do this and that yeah maybe i could do it but i'm not great at it it's not what i love but there's somebody like my bookkeeper carla who is amazing that that's what she's really good at and the fact that she can bring that to my business is such you know a, a blessing a joy that I, that takes off my plate so that i can do the stuff that i'm really good at and the stuff that i love and that's i think what you were saying you learned over the course of those different roles here's what my you know unique ability is here's what my strength is and that's exactly. the piece that you've kind of just focused on now with your business right absolutely so it did come down to working with real bodies real people real bodies and since i already knew the market i had all this experience over the last you know it's now been 31 years but there was a good amount of just 20 years of working for the big corporate and just you know rolling out um all the check your boxes things to do it wasn't until the last 10 years that it really became fine-tuned for me that i was like this has become its own business crafting uh how do i say crafting a look for personalities so even for and you could be a non-personality i just love to say we're all personalities right yeah. so we all want to have our own signature look so sometimes we just need to be guided there and help, just like you would, you take a cooking lesson or we hire a wine coach because I want to learn more. I want to be more <laughs> educated, um, whether it be a chef to cook a, a specific meal. Um, they're all wonderful things that sometimes we just know that we need to do in order to survive. I think presentation is really important. So I always yeah, feel yeah. like a stylist is someone that you should look to to help hone in on your best features okay and that's why it's really it's not such a luxury anymore it's become a necessity because it helps you in your presentation with work now that we're doing so much online we need to have a better um stance of how we're coming off we don't always have that water cooler talking to make relationships really what you see is what you get you need to compose and convey that immediately in just a presentation. And then when you open your mouth, you need to be very bum, bum, bum. Yes. So I, think, I don't think of this as a luxury to have a stylist. Think of it as a necessity. <laughs> right. And, and you know what else is a necessity is having that community. I, and I'm also, um, you know, I'm a solopreneur. You're a solopreneur. You know, other people work in corporate. But to have your tribe of other women that you can bounce things off of, that you can vent to, that can share their success and what's working, 
And that's, you know, with my whole idea with putting the You Uncorked conference together was to bring great women together for connection, for community, for strategies, you know, for all, all of the things to make your best vintage ever the next year, because we can do it a lot. You know, there's a lot of craziness. We've been through it all, okay? We thought 2021 was gonna be the ticket. Now it's not so much the ticket, but you know what? We can still succeed, we can still move forward, and that's what we're gonna be focused on um, that whole afternoon, and I'm so thrilled you're gonna be there with me um, to do that. And I know you're gonna give us a lot of goodness uh, at the conference about, much more about you know your learnings and building your business yeah. around your unique ability. Definitely. But what about a little, if somebody's watching right now and they're like, okay, I guess it's kind of back to school. Um, yeah. We, you know, that's when we all think about freshening up our fashion wardrobe. What's one or two things that we should be thinking about right now okay. in your opinion? I have a no brainer tip for any of you right now as the seasons are starting to change across the country. I know everyone's going to be inundated with the back to school announcements wherever you go. And there's the time to think about yourself where you're like, OK, new season, job changes, uh, transition. You want to get more uh, presence, elevate your look um, when in doubt. OK, let me give you a little soul trick here. When in doubt, go with teal. Teal is a universal color. <laughs> and that's interesting that you actually have a very good I did this. We did not plan this, people. No, we did yeah. not. Yeah. But you definitely inspired me. If I was going to give you one thing to run off and you can do immediately. Um, when you're in doubt and you're like, okay, I don't know, red and orange and uh, which better uh, blue is best for me? Is it more the sea greens? Is it more the hunter and the forest greens? No pun intended. Uh, it's the teal, okay? When in doubt, just buy teal. So when you go into the store and you have a selection or you're just looking for that one great color that's gonna pop you, go with teal. First of all, it's universal in all skin tones. So start to run your mind right now with every ethnicity that you can think of, um, your hair colors, your eye color, and your skin tone. You cannot go wrong. It is an uh, underestimated color that is just <laughs> vibrant. So that bathing suit, when they offer you six different colors, grab the teal if you're unsure. And then vice versa with the tops. I think they're beautiful through a camera lens, through uh, iMac, you know, through your Microsoft. Everything looks so great in teal. So I will give Love you that, that to run off and go shopping with and find something teal right now. <laughs> I know and Susan on here said that's her favorite color. So she loves this advice because yes. now she can just, you know, get more of that into her. Oh, she is sipping the Chateau St. Michel Pinot Gris, which oh, I mean, yeah. Love Pinot Gris. And yeah. um, then Jeannie is drinking the Martin Codex Albarino, which I think yeah. I've had you try the Albarino before. But if you haven't, it's a great Spanish white. Uh, you definitely need to try that because I know uh, you appreciate a nice white every now and then. So, <laughs> but speak. Oh, a little refresh. I like that. I'm, I like them too. Um, it's a seltzer. So I just, mm. yeah, it's very <laughs> light. Speaking of wardrobe, um, and then I'm going to ask you another question, but I have a new accessory that I know I've showed you, but it's it's part of my wine wardrobe, if you want to think of it that way. And some people have seen this before, but it's my new favorite tool. It's called the Vin Glace. And it's basically a Yeti for your wine bottle so that, you, you know, if you go out on your back porch, which I know you love to do because you live in such a beautiful area with your friends here too. Now this is going to stay all cold and chilled in here. And then you can just pour Love this. You can just pour the wine right with this thing on. Like no now, problem. Did you say that gives it has to wait a few minutes. Say if you buy something straight from the shop and you want to just boom and go outside as opposed to putting it in the freezer and then waiting. How many as minutes long, is that? It has to be pre-chilled. So as long as it's pre-chilled, what you when you put it in here, it keeps the chill, but it won't chill it if it's warm. You gotta you definitely have to pre-chill okay, for so that sure. Will carry it. Exactly. It's like those, have you seen those brew mates that you put your seltzer cans in or whatever that keep it cold? And they a couple different versions, different names on yeah. things that I have in the freezer. And I grab them and they're great. And and then they really just, are. Uh, yeah. I yeah. just saw something that you had uh that ice thing. That's what I want to get just to keep it to go to the backyard as opposed to having to deal with the ice. Exactly. And it's it it messy and drippy and all kinds of things. Yeah. Um so 
Uh, you were telling me before we got on a little bit about your top, which is so fresh and clean and gorgeous. So I, I want to know a little bit about that. I, and ha, ha, I know a little, but I want you to tell them. But also, I feel like I can't wear button down shirts because the girls are just, the shirts aren't made for someone who has a chest, if you will. So what is, what can we do to be able to wear these button down shirts, which I love, but I can't seem to, if I buy them to fit here, then they may be, you know, way oversized. That is a true issue that many of us have. So I have a curvy body. And so one of the things I really like the look and the feel of just having a leisure uh, dress shirt on, um, you know, I'm running errands or something. I didn't want to look too unfinished with just a tank top or a t-shirt. So I happened to be at Target the other day because who doesn't love a Target run? Right. Um, and of course, I walk through the clothing section. Of course I do. Okay. And the brand is called A New Day. And I know this top of mind because I went back online to see what other colors they had. I was very pleased to find this for $24.99. What works about it is this is a very fine little violet, uh, pinkish per lavender stripe. Oh, it's nice. so soft, nondescript. But what I really love about it is that it's a uh, bat sleeve. Here, let me do this. See that? Oh. Cut like a traditional slim line. So it's stylish in that. The collar is really kind of short, not too long. You can wear it either way. I kind of like to pop the back a bit and then do that. And then yeah. it just falls naturally, but it still looks like a little bit of, you elevate your look. And then what I also love about it is that it's cropped. So it does like a squared off um, look towards the bottom of it. So right. it gives a bit of a boxy feel, which can be really good with something that's more fitted at the bottom. Um, so you want to balance out your proportions. So that coming from any of the concerns of, oh, I have broad shoulders, I'm top heavy, oh, I'm just kind of curvy or I'm, you know, disproportionate. No, you can have any body type and still wear this. And I still get the rim, but this I'm wearing as a small. So I am true medium. Oh, wow. So yeah. They run really big, so keep that in mind. Um, I think it looks great with blue jeans, which I'm looking forward to wearing this in the um, fall with because it's got that really nice weight. And that's why I went back online to see what other colors they had. They have actually a really great selection of like six different colors. Nice. So they have a black and a white, which I would highly recommend as well. Neutrals that will go with you seasonlessly. Um, okay. So A New Day is the brand. It's at great. Target online, $24.99. Wonderful. And so to balance it out, you it would be like skinny jeans. Yeah, I would do something more tapered. So obviously yeah. not everybody will wear skinnies or are comfortable. I actually have a pair of straight leg uh, khakis on right now. They're a little bit mi okay. military cargo green. They're very summery. They're just fitted, but they have a straight leg. So with flip flops or a sandal, it gives a good balance. But in general, I would always try to uh, do a little bit more tapered. So you can have fun with it, but it definitely will get you somewhere into the seasons. And then you can put a sweater over it. You can put a cardigan. You can do a bunch of things and layer. So very yeah. inexpensive piece to add to the closet. And so if people want to connect with you, I know I work with you, you know, for style, for maybe TV um, appearances. Um, one of the things I'll talk about at You Uncorked on October 16th is this really fun side gig that I created for myself over COVID, my side piece. What do you call that? The side hustle, side piece. No, honey, I don't have a side piece. A side hustle um, doing work with QVC on camera. And so um, that's been great to work with you on that. But also just the fact that you've helped me understand what would be great for me just in personal life as well yeah. through my work, really being focused you know, on what I'm doing for business, but it really helps you understand, you know, just how to be more polished in everyday life. So if people want to work with you, how do they find out? Yeah. And everything can be done hourly. There's no commitments uh, necessary. It's very individual uh, experience. You can do it online. You can do it in person, depending on what area you're in. I do the tri-state area just because I'm in Connecticut, New York City, New Jersey. Um, but otherwise been very fruitful to work with people, um, on FaceTime and help yeah. out that way, especially with the questions and concerns and just looking at your closet right with your camera in hand. Uh, we kind of identify what the needs are, what your losses are. We talk a little bit about psychology in regards to your, 
um, wardrobe and where your head is at, how you feel about your body. It's a very cathartic experience. I know that some people I've been told um, literally over 31 years of doing this, I've had a couple of people literally just say, that was like therapy, 10 years of therapy (laughs) in just hours. It can really change your mood. It's a mood booster. Mm -hmm. It's a healthy mood booster. We can put you to sleep and be feel confident in the morning that you're going to wake up and have a brand new day. You're going back into work with a new presentation or you have a big event coming up and it just puts that one thing at peace, you know, where you're like, I'm not stressing about it. I know what I have in the closet. I now know what I'm going to wear. Take that off your tablet of like things that are going to stress you out, things that you have to do. So I can really go into it for the questions you have. So feel free to reach out. But yeah, and I put your website, the um, in the chat window so you guys can um, check that out. And yeah, we've been, this, can you believe it's been 25 minutes? This has been so much fun. <laughs> and we've been having a this great happy hour. <laughs> It's so fun. Um, Does anybody have any questions? If not, I just want to remind you to go to youuncorked.com. Come spend a half day with Pilar, myself. I also have um, one of my sponsors is Willamette Valley Vineyards. And I know Pilar is a big fan of their whole cluster. cluster. We're going to be tasting it. And so their winery director, Christine Clare, um, she is amazing and she is in line to take over for the owner Jim Bruno who is a good friend of mine um, she's gonna be joining us for the VIP tasting and she started out going to the winery as a little kid selling friendship bracelets in the tasting room and now she is gonna eventually be taking over this company um, one of the largest wineries in, in the Willamette Valley Oregon so we're gonna have her if you're a VIP ticket holder I'm gonna send you two wines as part of your ticket price you'll be part of our special tasting and actually Pilar you might want to know about this too you'll be the first to find out if you come join us on October 16th you and Cork about a wine tour I'm doing to the Willamette Valley for women only in July of next year so i I put the itinerary together. I tell you people, I am so excited. There's so much wineries, breweries, cocktail making, waterfalls. We're going to just have an amazing time. Um, so my people on, on you and Corked will be the first ones to hear about it. But um, join us. I know, I just want to invite you. I think we're going to have a great day, a community. Oh, it's going to be terrific. Yeah. Pilar, thank you so much. I always love being with you. And oh, always lift hug. my spirit. I know. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the thread. I'll keep checking and make sure we get to them. Pilar, thank you for your time. Have a great evening. And I know we'll be seeing you soon. Great chatting. All right. Bye. Bye. Cheers.